Next question is from T.W. Parker 34. Are gummy bears for real as a post-workout snack? Oh this is, is, I hate is this. this a gym uh, follower? You uh, know what? No, it's become way more popular than just that knucklehead. I mean, it's yeah. yeah, it's become a thing that... I mean, and just you're right. Now that you guys, you know, we just answered the CBD one. You're right, Justin. I have seen uh, quite a few fitness influence because CBD has become so so popular in our space mm -hmm. and that you've got a lot of these you know they're just trying to find more angles of how to sell yeah it. and they don't understand the science behind it or really how to use it and so it just makes the most sense to pitch it as a post workout yeah. i have seen that now yeah and, and the gummy bears thing as has been popular for a while now and more and more people are jumping on the this is, okay this annoys the shit out of me so this this is based off of science it's off the shows. dextrose mm -hmm. yeah that if you eat a, a fast digesting form of carbohydrate post-workout, you'll replenish glycogen stores faster. Then they also say, oh, getting an insulin spike post-workout is a good idea because it helps build muscle. Um, yeah, okay. Again, we're, we're splitting hairs to the point where it doesn't even make sense anymore. And honestly, this is an excuse to, <laughs> to eat gummy bears. justify <laughs> eating shit yeah. post-workout. So it's like, oh, no, I'm yeah, I'm a fit guy. Oh, of course, I want to improve my performance. So this is, And that's why I'm eating a bag of candy. Do you think Hasbro's behind? Well, this? The, yeah, right. The, the thing, the reason why I actually Haribo, I get or Haribo. Uh, yeah, yeah I remember wrong, I was, wrong yeah. guy. <laughs> Hasbro makes toys. The yeah. reason why I I, I got uh, so fired up when this first started getting popular was because, um, you know, I I battle with sugar addiction, and I would have loved. To, Any excuse. Oh, if someone if this was popular when I was twenty, mm -hmm. I would have been this kid. I, that's all I needed to hear was some PhD fitness guru mm -hmm. telling me that I should you, I should consume gummy bears because they have a ton of dextrose in them and this is going to make the anabolic window even better or speed up my recovery. I would have jumped all over that. And the the truth is, like at one point, if you're somebody who is constantly eating candy like this, you'll be in the same boat as I am. Like back when I was 20 and I I could eat whatever I wanted and not put on body fat, and all I cared about was how I looked, and I didn't care about my overall health, and I didn't think like, oh, one day I'll be 40 and not running around mm. 15,000 plus steps every single day and a roaring metabolism. And now here I am battling this sugar addiction that I have allowed myself to have. So I hate this advice. Even if you can get away with it as a young guy or girl right now to do this, it's terrible advice from fitness professionals that are pushing this. I think it, you're stupid for doing it. Yeah, that. if you mm -hmm. want to eat candy, then go eat candy. But if you're going to yeah, say don't, don't that Don't wrap it's, it into the whole process. If you're, yeah, if you're going to say that it's because it's good for your fitness – then I'm going to be pissed off because that's not – no, it's not true. It's the wrong it's message. Wrong. Look, yeah. look, do you – okay, first of all, replenishing glycogen post-workout, not that big of a deal unless you plan on working out again mm -hmm. right away. And by the way, starches do just – do a damn good job. Yeah, Eat a have, fucking potato. Have, you have a, bowl of, <laughs> yeah. have a bowl of rice and freaking eight ounces of steak or chicken. Yeah, there no, can't – this is dumb and it's, it's totally a way to justify eating garbage. It doesn't benefit you. You're not going to build tons of muscle – uh, doing this or burn more body fat doing this. It's not going to do anything for you. Baby. You're just eating uh, yeah, a fake food post-workout. You like gummy I love gummy bears. It's my favorite candy in the world, okay? Don't get me wrong, but it's not a post-workout uh, snack. That's yeah, save it for you, save save it, the cartoon. No, save but. it for the, you know, once every six weeks when you go to the, on a movie date and you really want to have gummy bears. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Don't... Don't justify it as a, a ritual and a behavior that you do every after every workout. Totally. And That's then as far as spiking idea. your insulin to improve muscle growth, I mean, yes, I know pro bodybuilders take insulin and they take it with carbohydrates and that helps them build muscle. Okay, I get that. Very different than trying to spike your insulin with sugar, which uh, you, you don't want to do that all the time. It doesn't make any sense to constantly try to spike insulin to build more muscle. You don't. You want to be very sensitive to insulin. You don't want to have to spike it all the time, and whatever you're not going to gain any really muscle from doing that. Not to bodybuilders mention injecting insulin is totally different. Which also, by the way, is not a great idea. But that puts muscle on. But they're injecting it. That's totally different. Not to mention the behaviors that come behind this. Okay, you eat gummy bears every single day. A fucking apple is going to taste bland. Your mm -hmm. vegetables will taste terrible. That's what happens. So you don't want to get in the habit of doing something every single day. And I'm speaking from experience. I'm telling you that, that this was me. I was a kid who ate candy every single day. And for the longest time, I didn't think that apples and grapes tasted like anything. 
I hated vegetables. So what, that's what you're messing with, all in the in the, the name of getting an insulin spike. Like, get out of here with yeah. that. It's yeah. terrible and, advice. And by the way, it's if yeah. they're saying it's sugar, right? Why is it gummy bears? I don't know. They focused on gummy bears. Technically, according to their their theory, it could be any sugar. It's well, no, fast, it's though, dextrose. Yeah. It's yeah. dextrose yeah. and gummy bears. Pixie sticks. It's gummy yeah. bears. I think is one of the candies that has like the highest level of dextrose in it. That's the mm. reason why they promote gummy bears. I love gummy bears.